Good morning, everyone. This is Marie again. This is who you call Sexy Marie. Look at her. She's the bomb. Look at <laughs> This is Marie. How are you? Hola. Hola. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Good whatever. Wherever you are, whether it's day or night, midnight, morning, whatever it is, good day or good night to everyone all over the world. This is Marie again in Marie's kitchen, even though Marie's not a cook, but I have about five goldfish that I bought from last week, about three pounds of goldfish. So I used half last week, Friday, and I have the other half, it was already seasoned with just a little salt and black pepper. I didn't do nothing much on it, you know? Because goldfish don't need a whole lot of seasoning. So I probably put a little dash of um, garlic powder on it also, okay? So what I did, because I don't like to have the smell of the fish into my house. I hate the smell of the fish in the house. So what I did, I have to fix this camera because Bravo don't, Melbourne don't help me that much with the camera. He's always outside busy doing whatever Melo does. So what I did, I fried it outside. There it is. Let me put it over here. I fried outside. There it is. About eight minutes on each side. I prefer this than snapper and any other fish. I prefer the goldfish because I'm not too much of an other fish eater, but this I will enjoy. And the other one they call sprat because they're small and crunchy and I, you know, when you fry it, you can eat even the bones. So this is the one that I did. It's just about five. I wish I have six or eight, but that's what I have. So I fried it outside on the stove outside because I didn't want the smell to get into the house, you know? I hate the smell of the fish into the house. So sorry if my head is knocking off. Maybe I could probably bring the camera up a little more to see if it can, yes. Probably doing a little bit better, yes. I hope you see me. Sorry if it's, there's any inconvenience. So I fried the fish outside already. Let the fish stay there and drain itself. Now this is my pot that I have eaten up and I have all of this. Onion, already pre-prepared. White onion, red onion, red pepper. You could put yellow pepper, green pepper, whatever your desire is. But I didn't feel like doing too much of that because my husband don't like too much of those peppers because of his stomach. Then I have carrots. Mm -hmm. Carrots is good for you, it's good for your high and everything. And I have some onions, some scallions, which is this, and I cut it up in small bits. I have a bit of, um, not too much, of um, scotch bonnet pepper. There it is. And I have some garlic. There I have some garlic, about three cloves of garlic I have cut up in there. And I just tread just a little bit, there it is, of, um, and what they call it again, um, I'm going to tell you because sometimes I forget things. I hope you don't continue. Ginger, see, just a tad of ginger on it to kind of take away the smell from the fish. So right now, I'm going to put this in a pot, hot the pot. I'm going to put it in a pot and I'm going to use some, probably use some virgin olive oil this time. Yes, I'll use some virgin olive oil. Where it is. Okay. Yes, I will use some virgin olive oil, which you see, virgin olive oil, organic. So I'm going to go ahead. Swizzle a little bit, like maybe about two tablespoons of virgin olive oil. And I'm going to let that thing get hot, real hot. Uh -huh. And it's sizzling right now. I want it to make sure that it's very hot, that when I'm ready, 
it will do its thing you know let me see if i can fix this camera down a little bit more so you can see it more yes i hope you're seeing me if you're not i'm so sorry i'm very sorry forgive me you have to see with me with this camera because it's just me alone Melo is not here for me. You see, that man is not here for me when I needed him the most. But don't worry, he's a good man. He's always here for me, no matter what. But this is not his thing, you know? So I think the hall is hot enough. So first thing first, I'm going to do, do the carrots. Because they, you know, they're a little bit harder. Yes, the carrots are a little bit harder. So I'm gonna give it like about a minute and let it saute a little bit. Yes, there it is, can you see it? It looks so beautiful with our orangey looking color, you know? Give it just about a half a minute, let that saute first. As a matter of fact, I could just cover it up. Cover it up, just about a minute. Now you see how nice and pretty my fish is? Golden brown, look at them. It is so pretty, you know? Let me see if the camera keep on going. Yes, it is. So, I'm just giving it about a half a minute because I want it to be very crunchy. All right, good. Now I'm gonna put in the onion. You do whatever you want in your choice. And I pull it apart. Because I want it nice and round, you know. See how it is? I pull it apart. Pull them apart. I like a lot of onions and things when I have fish. Because when I finish with this saute onion, it tastes so delicious. I'm going to throw in the garlic. There it is. I'm going to throw in the garlic. Let that phone ring because that's the way it is. It ring and when you worry yourself about it all of a sudden it's it's just those solicitors calling you on your phone and I can't be bothered with that all right so I'm gonna leave the scallion some people call it scallion I don't know what you call it in your language but you know what I'm talking about because everybody uses this everywhere in every country you use this so I already have my garlic in there, but I like a lot of garlic. So while it's doing, I might just cut another piece, just a small piece. Let me get a fat one. A fat one that fat like me. Yes. <laughs> Look how this thing is fat and juicy. I'm going to use this one here. Let me get this thing over here. I'll be right back. Yes. Nice and fat. Yes, there it is. So I'm gonna use this one here and I'm gonna slice it. Put it into the pot. Cause I like to cook with a lot of um, garlic. Garlic is good for you, you know what I mean? Garlic is good for everybody. Anti-inflammatory, everything. You name it, it is there for you. I already put pepper because my husband don't want too much pepper because it will burn his stomach. Even these, even this what I'm doing sometimes will burn his stomach. But he'll heat a little bit of it, you know what I mean? I'm going to turn the stove down at low pace. Yes. And I'm going to give it about two minutes. Two minutes. Let me set the timer so I know exactly that the two minutes will be there. Start two minutes. I'll cut a little bit more of this because I'm going to just garnish it. Okay. Garnish it over it when it's covered up to, to do its thing. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, I'm going to put back my honey and things in the refrigerator. You know. And I like to put them in Ziploc bags. So it don't penetrate in the fridge all over. Alrighty. I have
have my butter. I'm going to put some butter in it, the Smart Balance butter. Not a lot, just enough to give my season a, 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 a nice little taste. Kick it up a notch, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna take one little piece more of this pepper because this pepper is real hot. The Scotch bonnet pepper. Very, very hot. I'll put it right over there. This extra piece of garlic. And then everything prepare in advance that by the time that done, it will be there, you know. Hello again, everyone. How are you? This is Marie, cooking in the kitchen, even though she ain't no cook, but she ain't gonna burn it up, that's for sure, okay? <laughs> okay, good, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me show you, see? Nice and pretty, look at my plate, look at my pot. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I just want it to be sauteed, I don't want it to be, you know, too much. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put just a little bit of the rosemary, not much, whoops, too much, just a little rosemary, okay, I heard you stove, I heard you, then I'm going to use just a touch of thyme, just a dash of thyme, because this thyme already taken crush into small bits, then I'm going to take a little of my cider vinegar, see, cider vinegar, Organic. Yeah. Let me shake it up. Because this is real good vinegar. I wish I could do do it like... I wish I could... I had the, the taste or the time to do it like how Empress G does it. Because she makes this vinegar on her own. With happle and other things. And it looks good. I don't know how good it tastes, but she said it tastes good, so I believe in her. I'm gonna take a little black pepper, not much. There it is. Yeah, that's enough. Put some black pepper. Take a little bit of butter, not much. You know, just enough to give this season a little nice taste to it. Can I put it up a little more? So. Uh -huh. Yes, look how pretty it is, man. Look how pretty it is. Wow. I'm going to bring in this camera up a little more so you can see what I'm talking about. There it is. There it is. Whoops. There it is. Mm -hmm. Right. There it is. See how pretty my pot is? All right. So I'm going to cover it up, say maybe, um, I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm going to throw most of my scallions on it. Just leave a little bit on the top there, piece of paper right there. And I'm going to cover it up for just like another two minutes. All right, two minutes. I'm going to cover it there, let it saute itself. And I'm going to put this away at the meantime. As I said to you, I don't like clutter. I hate clutter. I hate clutter. I like everything to be put away. You know? Let's go in there, yes. And put this in here. All right, everything is put away. Nicely tucked away. All right. Sometimes this is what I do. I put my pepper, my scotch bonnet pepper, and I put it with some cider vinegar, and I cut up the pepper and I put it in. Sometimes I use it, but boy, I'm telling you, it's very, very, very hot. So sometimes I'm scared to use some of it. Well, I'm gonna just tat a little bit of it into the pot. Just a little. I hope I don't regret it. You know, just a little bit of that. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. right put it back away and you know if you use anything that you have to use like like fish and 
meat and so on. Always make sure you wash your hands. And if you use these things, you wipe them off with a little, with a little bleach. You know what I mean? Soap and bleach and you wipe it off. So this way you don't carry bacteria on your hand onto the things you're going to eat. Because that's not good for you at all. Well, when it comes to talking about fancy way, about doing the dishes or about the food, I don't know much about it because as I said to you, Marie is not a cook. I'm gonna give it like another minute. I'm gonna give it another minute because it needs to be, you know. Okay, one more minute. I'm gonna give it, then we're gonna dish this plate. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna give it one more minute and we're gonna dish this plate. While it's there for the minute, how are you everyone? I am so appreciative to, for you coming, taking your time off to watch me, to watch me take care of this dish because it's from my table to your table, from my kitchen to your kitchen. And I hope you may try it because it's delicious. No matter how you turn it, even if you're not a cook, you can do this. Just follow the direction that I do. Because I did the same thing by following someone else and see what they do, you know? So I hope you will able to, if you haven't subscribers yet, <laughs> please, please, pretty please with sugar and honey on top, subscribe to me. Give me thumbs up. Hit the bell, the notification bell. It would be on your right, right side. I think it's on your right side. Hit the notification bell. Press all so you can get everything that I sent you. And comment. No matter how simple the comment is, let me know if you try it and how it tastes. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. And now I'm back two the one minute is up and i think this is perfect now this is going to be perfect oh this is nice i'm going to throw just a little bit more of the vinegar in it yeah and i'm going to throw a little tap more vinegar yeah yeah that's it because it kind of you know yeah this is perfect because i don't want it to be too soggy but I want it to cover. There it is. Now look at me. Look at me. Look at Marie now, baby. Look at Marie. I'm going to put it over the fish. Yeah. Yes, Marie. Girl. <laughs> it seemed like you're a cook. You said you're not a cook. But I am telling you, your dish is looking fabulous. Bravissimo! Wow, wow, wow. I think you did good, Marie. Now look at. You know, we're going to have this for dinner. So, anyway, I don't really care for the fish that much. I care for the hair. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle, dazzle a little bit of the scallion that is left on top of it because I'm going to leave it cover for a little while. Let me put this over there at the sink. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Beautiful. Bonita. Bonita. Let me wipe right over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. What a beautiful dish. Mm, mm, mm. Let me wipe around the corner of that. Okay. You know, because I like to see a dish looking neat and nice and clean with no spot. It must be looking immaculate. Mm, mm. Look at that, Marie. Marie, look what you have done. Look what you have done, Marie. Marie, you are the bomb. Look at this. I'm going to bring it down low so you can see more. Look at this. Look at, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to let you see it. See? 
Look at my dish. Look at my dish. Isn't this a beautiful dish? Wow. Wow. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. Look at that. Now, this is what Marie's going to do. Watch me now. Watch me now. As a matter of fact, watch me. I am going to take this. This camera and me is not working so well because I need somebody to really hold it for me. You know? There it is. I hope you can see it. Yes. And I hope it looks good that I don't have it turned on. But I'm going to taste. I need somebody to hold the camera for me. There it is. I'm going to take a piece. I'm going to take a piece of this. I want you to see me. I want you to see me. I want you to see me eat this thing. I want to see me eat this thing. See? Look at this. This is the fish. <laughs> Man. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. From my kitchen to your kitchen. From my table to your table. I want you to enjoy this. And I want you to make it mm, 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 crunchy, nice. Uh, I'm going crazy. Mm, mm, mm. This thing, not because I did it, but I'm telling you, it tastes good. Now look at, look at this. Look at this. You see that? You see that? Let me take the bone out of my mouth. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Girl, you did it. You did it again. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you, this is good. Okay? So, I want you to try this dish. There it is. Try this dish. I'm not good at the camera, so excuse me if I don't do too well. Okay? Try this dish. <clears throat> and I hope you may enjoy what I'm doing. And I need you to subscribe. Thumbs up. I feel like taking it on the table. Out there. Sit down. <laughs> I'm telling you. I am telling you, I just feel like eating it all off. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look, look at this. You see? You see? Man, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to handle this camera. But look at this. Marie, don't do this. You're too darn glutton. You are, too, look at this. <laughs> when I said it is good it is good so again from my table to your table enjoy it from my kitchen to your kitchen <clears throat> the vinegar is a little bit strong but I love it like this because it tickles my throat that means it's cleaning out those little mucus out of my throat <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen Boys and girls, have a lovely day. Be good to yourself. And if you can't be good, be careful. If you're going somewhere, drive safe. And always remember the Almighty. Because without Him, we are nothing. Have a blessed day. God loves you, and so do I. Mwah! You have yourself a blessed and lovely day or night or evening or afternoon, whatever, wherever you are. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Send it to your friends. Let all your family do the same thing for me. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you again. Bye-bye.